Hello, welcome to my tour of Sanctuary. Uh, I put way too much time into this. I mean, I guess if you compare this to other YouTube videos, this is kind of basic, but it really persuaded me not to upload or not want to record this, but I still put quite a bit of time, so I feel like I deserve to, to, to record this. Plus, I feel like I'm kind of done. I don't really know what else to do, and I don't really feel like doing more to this, so. So, completely barricaded the outer walls here with these junk walls. There's like two parts of the settlement. There's the outer walls here, and then the inner walls, which are these nice stone brick walls. So originally the settlement was just going to be like the inner part, but I decided to expand onto it and add more to the outside stuff. So it's quite a big settlement, so there's a lot of stuff to fill. But I'm going to try and go through this as fast as I can. So to the left here, I have my like fishing area, spot to fish, some seats, lots of seats. Um, this is like kind of the place under the bridge um, cooking spot. I originally just built this just to have supports for the lights that I added on to the to the thing, but I'm not sure what you would call this spot. Like a it's like a scrappy hobo area or something. If you can't get into the the settlement, I imagine that's where you go. So you walk in. There is a switch, so you can lock the door. To the right here, the sanctuary sign, and I'm gonna kind of speed run through some of this. So the, to the left side here is the it's a guard spot. He's got his own bed, it's a doghouse, um, dumpsters for all the trash of the settlement that you can just, you know, throw outside. Right here is like this bus station kind of thing, uh, just a, um, what's this called again? Uh, a bench and whatnot, kind of just a spot to relax. There's another thing like this on the other side of the settlement. Up here is the guard station, so some seats, there's two cats here, um, lots of seats. Um, he's got his own bed, so he can sleep on the job. Ammo boxes. I made sure to put ammo boxes for all of the guards here. So, three guard spots watching the main entrance and four missile turrets. To the left here, there is a four vent house. So, this is just a house for the settlers. Um, bed on this side, another bed on this side. It's like an apartment place you can rent out. Then on the right side of the settlement, here is my recruitment spot. So if you want to join the settlement or join the Minuteman, this is where you go. Just lots of uh, seating stuff to wait so you can get your turn and whatnot. So just a lot of, uh, really just a lot of seats. So this is where you go to talk to the recruiter. So if you want to join the, the settlement, this is who you talk to. Of course, there's no one actually there. You just, you know, bring your, your thing when it's your turn, I guess. Um, and then this is where you get your uniform to... Your, your Minuteman uniform. There's a kitchen area here. This is also where someone sleeps, so he's got his own bed, uh, bathroom. Of course, I made sure to put these these fences for for the windows. It's like these fishnet things. I know it looks kind of dirty, but that was kind of the point. It was meant to look kind of scrappy and run down. Um, you can't actually get rid of this stuff in vanilla, so um, unless you get scrap everywhere, which is kind of a buggy mod, so and I don't use that. So over here, this kind of leads to a campfire area. And there's also the farm area on the other side here. So all the men and men kind of like to kind of relax here, chill here. Um, this is actually part of a mod, so it's like one one piece here. Uh, I think I'll, I might as well go over here. So here's the other guard spot. Made sure to look, make it look very scrappy and stuff. There's, um, yeah, so you get a nice view of the, the bridge here. The guy's got his own his own dedicated chair because you know he's lazy or whatnot i would imagine the standing up here for like eight hours would kind of suck so i put this this guy as a chair i guess i should have put one on every single um, guard spot so this is a nice pathway here that i put down this leads to the the Miniman watchtower so nice pathway here is an artillery thing so over here this is where mccready would be Oh, this is his his place really some seating stuff I go up go up the, the staircase um, So yeah, this is McCready's place. He's got his sniper Pistol he's got a radio to alert in case there's attacks and whatnot So a nice little place for him to stay and then here here's his guard spot. So there's actually Yeah, there's there's four 
guard spots watching the main main gate. Then just put a lots of seating stuff because I think that the view is pretty nice up here. The recruitment beacon. Not more um, seating stuff over here. So this is what the settlement kind of looks like. An overview of it. Quite a bit to it. I'm going to try and get through this kind of quick. I'm just going to drop down here. Go through the, the quicker pathway. Not going to go all the way up down those those stairs. So to the left is one of the settlers for rent house. So this is one of the homes you can rent out. I made sure to put these kind of roofs on top of all of them. These pathways, put these these fences everywhere, these street lights, and of course, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, all these pathways I put everywhere here. So yeah, it looks very scrappy and kind of run down, I guess. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but yeah. This is one of the houses. There's a family room, kitchen, washer and dryer, the bathroom, the another bedroom, and the other bedroom. I made sure to block off all the walls, of course, with these, these shack walls. So the the houses kind of act as part of the, the main wall structure. So you can look over here, it's kind of attached to the, to the wall here. So originally I wasn't going to build out here, but I decided to kind of do this because I feel like I need more homes and stuff. I want to make this place more secure looking. Next home here, the next pre-war home. Kind of the same same logic for all of these places. Family room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, another bedroom. So I kind of just kept these homes kind of the same. I kind of just decided to repair it a bit with some with some walls, put some chairs, and kind of just kind of put it how it was before the bombs dropped, or how I would imagine it. It's a little bit barren, but that's kind of the point. These these homes out here are kind of more of these poor, um, not very expensive homes. This is the other entrance of the settlement. So there's two entrances. This is like the, the side entrance. We got a guard spot watching it. We have four missile turrets and a spotlight. Of course, this is the generator. I tried to block it off with these, these shack walls, but they don't really do much of anything. This thing still ends up kind of breaking a lot. So you walk down here, put a pathway here. Completely barricaded with these junk walls. Can actually go through this way. I locked it. Um, sanctuary sign. There's a guard spot up top there. Completely nice, like guard station. So there's like three. There's like four or five of these around the settlement. So you go up here. Some seating stuff. Um, he's got some ammo boxes, a bed for him. You get a nice spot to watch this side entrance in case people come in through here. But you're not really meant to go through that way. Inside the house, the same exact thing as the other houses, pretty much. Seating stuff, family room, kitchen, dining table, uh, two two bedrooms for the settlers. Make sure every single um, house has their own washing machine. Um, wow, this house doesn't have a bathroom. I just noticed that. Um, I guess they just use someone else's bathroom. Um, and this, is, this may have been a bathroom beforehand, actually whatever it's kind of too late to change it now but so on this side is my police station so all of the, the guard spots you see around the settlement this is where they stay at so there's like a desk lady here you ring yourself in it's a weapon workbench in case you want to mess with your weapons so you ring the thing when you're it's when it's when you want to go in you wait your turn all of the lunch boxes for all of the guards so yes that was that was actually my thought process so they kind of take it to and back to this to the spots so you go in here it's a restricted area not really meant to go in here this is just for the guards of course and the, the prisoners um so yeah bedrooms for all the guards this is like the main main guard the chief of police or whatever um dining table with a nice view a kitchen area family room over here um weight benches this is like the desk for the guy who watches the prison area so on either side here there's Two beds here for the for the jail cell. So there's a join or die sign, which is meant to to persuade people to to join this the settlement. Same thing on this side. Two uh, mattresses. This is the inner part of the settlement. Oh my god, I, that's um actually part of a New Vegas mod pack. So that's that's not like a standalone mod, by the way. I don't download those kind of mods. Just just saying. Um. So yeah, this is the other gateway. So. Things to get rid of your rads as you walk in. 
good you're not blocking the pathway. So some turrets watching this this gate entrance. Um, I can't get rid of these stupid dogs. They kind of are part of the settlement. So some lounge area. Please don't block the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the inner part of the settlement. This is for all of the traders. And this is also where I stay at. Which has its, my own custom building. So on the left side here. Stuff for traders. There's lots of cows over here. Um, this is like one of the power sources. This is actually only for one of the houses. Didn't I didn't really feel like connecting all of the, the street lights and stuff. So each house has their own uh, dedicated generator for them. So on the right side here. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing up there? On the right side here is a nice lounge area where you can eat your food. This police station originally wasn't here. So... Um, it made more sense to have this here because you could get a nice view of the outer the outer part of the settlement But I'm not really gonna get rid of all of this. Of course, you can go underneath it Leads to the farm. There's some water water sources over here So this side over here is pretty much all the farm area. I can go over there a bit later So to the left side here is the gun shop Weapons trader make sure to put all of these weapon racks. They're like floating on the ceiling uh yeah, it's still, it's still the guy's home, so it's still just another pre-war home, but just for the for the weapons trader. Bathroom, two bedrooms. Um, so you're completely sealed up with these these metal metal walls. And then outside here is a weapons workbench and a another dining area. I don't think this has a dining. No, there's two dining spots in here. On the right side here is my general trader. So. This, um, this lots of like knickknacks and stuff. This should not be floating. Is my game does this weird thing where the objects will, will like move and stuff for some reason. It's like a ghost going into my settlement. It's really annoying. Um, but I don't feel like changing it every time I I come back here. So and this is the general trader. Made sure to put lots of like scrappy stuff, knickknacks and stuff. This is also the place for the. The original settlers for like Preston, um, the people I don't remember because they're not whoever this guy is, Sturges. I don't remember the, the people's name at all. Um, not very memorable characters in the game. So lounge area, lots of beds, kitchen, a bedroom, another bedroom. Of course, I put all these little fences here for the windows, prepared these, these walls here. There's a pathway. This is my home right here. I'm gonna just kind of rush through this a bit. So we got my power armor crafting stations. It's for all of my power armor that I'm actively crafting, I guess. Um, I don't actually use power armor like ever in the game. Maybe once every so often, but this is my Minutemen playthrough. So I don't really use power armor like all too much. So pathway that leads to this little farm behind the house. My power armor museum, a little guard station up here some seats so there's there's two guard spots one here and then one over there watching this the main um inner gate area then my power armor museum over here i had one at my last settlement so i decided to make another one for here because i have way too many power armors and i needed a spot to place them all i think this is from the creation club it's either creation club or it's a mod but yeah this is the armor from uh fallout 3 and the Raider, Power Armor, T-45, T-51, make sure to put some seats and stuff. This is the unique Power Armor from Nuka World, uh, the unique Power Armor from Fire Harbor, T-60s, and an XO one Oh, I thought, that, I thought this was the other companion, the, the really annoying one. Now, this is, this is a normal companion, never mind. So, there's a companion that always complains. Is this, is this you? Okay, no, they all look the same. Uh, so this leads to the farm area. There's two little gates over here. So this is the, the diner in this area and this is where the farm is. So just kind of rush through this. I added everything here, all the fences. So farm spot here, another farm spot with tomatoes. Completely sealed off the, the walls with these junk walls. The, um, the nice like dining outside picnic table area. So I made sure to put these fences so you can actually look look outside. This is the main the main water source for the settlement. I already showed you guys over there. This is the, the guard spot, the, the recruitment spot over there. And yeah, some missile turrets watching the, the farm area. 
which might be a little bit overkill, but try to make the the entire settlement very very safe. And these these um the walls and whatnot. Of course, these these doors can lock if you need to do that. Mostly just for immersion, really. The raiders don't actually get in here, I don't think. I don't think the spawn point is really anywhere over here. And this is my place. This is the general's house. And this FPS, though, is really, really tanky. So I got a little porch area here with some seats. Go through the, the door here. There's uh, the family room. Lots and lots of guns on the walls here. Gun area. See, I swear this stuff is moving. This was not on this like that. It should be like down here, I think. Um, so yeah, lots of guns here. My armor stuff here. Some of this is a lot of this stuff is modded. So like New Vegas stuff here. Um, yeah, stuff on the walls. And here is my crafting station area. It's also another family room. Make sure to put the wall so the smoke can actually get out. So yeah, I got my guns, chemistry, and armor workbenches. So this door is my dining room so it's like a bar and dining dining area so this is from creation club um the, the slocum joe thing which i never ever use but yeah, so i got nuka world stuff uh my fridge which had which actually has some stuff in it and you go up top to the second floor this is the kitchen area where you can make your food nice lounge area um and there's two doors here to the right side. This goes to my like collectibles room. So I have every single bobblehead. Pretty sure I have, I have every single um, magazine at this point. I'm probably missing a few of them, but I think that's like not there's like 99% of the magazines in the game. Then on the left side, this is my room. This is like the bedroom. Um, also the storage room. So on the left, this is a little place for a dog meat. This is where I store all of my stuff, so I have all of my guns that I kind of just dump into here. My armor, um, the stuff I actually like modded, I tend to put in, in here. Um, same thing with like my favorite armor stuff, kind of goes in here. And then some some bookshelves, my bedroom area, um, lots of vault tech stuff. Um, it doesn't really make too much sense considering my guy would. You think he would hate vault tech, but I just thought it looked kind of nice, so I just put a lot of vault tech kind of stuff here. Um, this for the, the Silver Shroud quest. So yeah, just a nice bedroom area for myself. And yeah, that's everything in my my structure. My This is like the main area that I stay most of the time. I don't really leave this house. Um, everything outside of here is more just for, for like my immersion or decoration purposes. And then on the other side of my house, I have my my dining stuff area. My, like my bar and restaurant on top of the... The armor and clothing store so you go up stop here i built this on top of the, the pre-war houses what is this man doing he should not be there um so yeah, lots of seating stuff it's a bar over here this guy you can get your food and drink and whatnot and lots of seats up here um there's also a guard spot as well they made sure i made sure to put these ammo boxes for them so there's two guard spots watching the main entrance i do not want to talk to you <laughs> please get away from me okay <laughs> Please no. Okay. See, there's two two guard spots watching the the main entrance. Well, I guess the the inner entrance. So you keep going down the road. This is the armor and clothing store. So just put appropriate stuff for them. So all of these these mannequins and stuff. So this is where you buy some Minutemen uniforms and whatnot. Your your armor stuff. It's also someone's home. So make sure to put beds, a bathroom, another bed spot here. Uh, barricaded the walls here there's, so this axe is part of the oh I keep accidentally pausing there and this is the robot workbench area it's like a barn house for for building robots so this is part of the the automatron dlc which is honestly not a very good dlc i kind of for, forget it, it, it exists a lot of the times so you can build your robots there's um the ibot station which i never use is for like scavenging scavenging stuff Across from the robot workbench is my clinic. So this is the medical area. Why is there no guy here? He's not um, doing his job, I guess. So yeah, put these these first aid kits, these coolers and whatnot to kind of match the, the medical vibe of the place. Uh, there's a haircut spot. Still someone's home, so I made sure to still have uh, the dining stuff and 
family room. This is uh, for surgery. Get your surgical procedures. I don't know why no one's at their stuff. You, you would think they would be at their, their spots by now. Bathroom. Bedroom. Completely sealed up. Another bedroom. Dude, I swear my settlers are like missing. I don't know where they're at right now, but they're not at where they're supposed to be. So, so then we go over the roundabout area over here. On the, uh, the left side is my gun range. There's also a firearm museum over here and a guard station on top of it. So the, oops. So the gun range, I kind of just put these shack walls and shack bridges to make a gun range here. These, these, uh, things you can shoot here. The, kind of forgot which guns I have here, but yeah, you can fire. There's a firing range here. You can just test your guns and whatnot. Put some ammo boxes. Um, I should probably go over here before I go over there. The, the firearm museum was the last place that I actually built, so I'll go over there last. This is my, this is the rental area, so this is, this probably is the most beds in the settlement. It's kind of like a, uh, apartment place, I guess. Guard station watching this, this little spot here. So go up top here, just pretty much as beds. Um, nightstands for everyone for the clothing and whatnot. So I built this like into the, the, the tree here and on top is the kitchen and Dining area and then underneath the rental area. There's like these picnic tables. You can relax here um, This is the the dining area the main food area. This is like a restaurant um, Kind of like a retro restaurant. I tried to make so that 50s vibe. I tried to to go for here. So Try to make it look very pre-war like with all the, the stuff. It's also of course someone's home, bathroom, bedroom, another bedroom. Of course behind is the, the farm area. Then this is a, another bar area, it's a creation club thing. Part of the creation club stuff which I never really use so yeah, it's a bar area and also for donuts I guess. Can Dude you're not supposed to be here, this guy's... Let's get a look at it. Dude, this is um... One of the doctors and he's not doing his job <laughs> he's um i guess he's getting donuts right now but yeah so i didn't know what to put here i guess i could have put like a bathhouse or another restaurant i don't really know what i would have put here to be honest so i kind of just left it how it is it's part of the, the wall structure and like another bus station area relaxing spot with a picnic table to relax on top of the firearm museum is the guard spot so some seating arrangement, the guard um, spot here you can get a nice view of this side of the settlement. Some ammo boxes. This is the last guard station. And then down here is my firearm museum. You can actually go inside the gun range here. I've made sure to surround it with the, the fences in case you need to go in here. But yeah, this is my firearm museum. What the heck is this? So I swear my stuff is moving. It's really annoying. I just place that there I guess so you walk in some seats and whatnot so this is where I have every single gun in the game this is all vanilla stuff really oh I keep accidentally pressing buttons here but yeah I have lots of ammo boxes there's nothing actually in here it's just for for decoration so yeah I have every single pistol in the game I'm not really gonna name every single weapon um, you guys can kind of just use your eyes to just see what the weapons are so every pistol Every single rifle in the game. Um, some of these are, of course, DLC weapons like the, the lever action, handmade rifle, and the radium rifle. Um, there really isn't that many guns in the game, which kind of sucks. Um, I think Bethesda did that well, out of laziness and also because you can... <clears throat> oh my god, my voice is dying. But I think they did that because you can modify every weapon to be a little bit different. So you go through the other door here and man, my voice is gone. Um, this is some Creation Club stuff, so there's a Manuel rifle, CR-74L, the Anti-Material Rifle, and the Gauss Rifle prototype, which I definitely recommend using this weapon over the, the original Gauss Rifle. Just because I feel like this kind of disgusting looking, it's very big. Um, you have to like hold down the trigger. I don't really like a lot of the, the Fallout 4 designs of the weapons, to be honest. They're a little bit too big and clunky, and I, I don't like that vibe, really. Um, so, yeah, another workbench. All of the big guns in the game, there really isn't that many. Um, all of the melee weapons in the game, so you get your one-handed, two-handed stuff. 
some of these weapons are very very goofy looking um like i don't know who the heck is using using this like who's who's using the rolling pin in their playthrough um they're kind of stupid just like meme weapons and of course you got your unarmed weapons here there's like four or five of them in total um some of these are kind of cool i guess but i don't really use melee weapons ever in um this game to be honest besides like maybe some of the the knives and stuff for for stealth and stuff when you're like right right in front of them but other than that i'm pretty much always using the the rifles and pistols in this game but yeah that's everything pretty much to my settlement i don't really have much else to showcase really hope this isn't like 30 minutes long over 30 minutes but Hopefully I went through this kind of fast, but yeah, that's everything to my settlement. I did put quite a bit of time. I guess if you compare this to other sanctuary settlements on YouTube, um, this is definitely not that crazy or interesting, but I didn't really know what else to do with this place. There's two other structures I guess I could could add on to, but well, I, could, I guess I could put maybe like pathways like on top of the houses more, but I didn't really feel like doing that and my my fps is kind of destroyed at this point so my god my fps though i'm getting 20 28 fps right there i will probably do more of this if you guys enjoyed this um well, i mean i enjoyed making settlements so i'll probably do a few more of these in the future and yeah that's everything to my place hopefully you enjoyed this and yeah i will see you next time